Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ninji, and today's video we're doing another armor set review again on my Warlock. I'm a Warlock main. I will do other armor set reviews if you guys would like. Just let me know in the comments below on other classes. I can do Hunter and Titan as well. But for the most part, I'm always going to show off my Warlock first because that is my, my baby, my main. So anyways, we're looking at the Seasonal Warlock armor, the Prefectus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But uh, yeah, this is the Seasonal armor. So this is in the Season Pass, and this is also dropping from Battlegrounds, like in the Umbral Engrams and stuff. So this is like the Seasonal armor. All three characters have one. Um, and it's it's something. Uh, <laughs> it's uh it's something dude there are balls involved on this armor set um this is this is the base look there are ornaments later in the season pass that i have not unlocked yet so when we get there you know we'll do we'll do a review on the on the ornaments as well but uh yeah it is it is definitely something <laughs> Um, it's very unique, very interesting. The, uh, let's just, let's just jump right into this. The helmet. The helmet looks like, uh, what, what, why can't I think of the name of that sport, dude? I think it's also referred to as field hockey, lacrosse, dude. The helmet looks like a lacrosse scooper, right? Like the stick that you use in lacrosse that you pick up the ball. That's what it looks like, dude. <laughs> uh the chess piece kind of the chess piece is kind of cool i don't know i don't it's i don't hate it it's kind of cool but it's also huge it's a big old gown kind of looks like i'm wearing an apron um you know and warlock chess pieces also affect the arms so, like the upper arms are part of the chess piece and they look great the lower arms also look great i do like that the leg the arms are symmetrical uh, i'm not wearing the legs i am wearing my transverses as always because they're just beautiful uh, and then you got the bond, very plain, just a little ring, nothing too special. Um, but you may be asking, Ninji, what shader is this? And I'm glad you asked because it looks beautiful, right? We're rocking the Vintage Timber shader. And like I said, I, I think it looks awesome. Um, this armor actually does shade very well. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at at what some of the shaders on this armor set look like. Uh, so I actually picked some winners this time. This time I was a little bit more prepared than last video. So first and foremost, we're going to look at Vibrant Medusa, one of my favorite shaders in the game. One of my favorite colors is Lime Green. So check this shader out, dude. You have a nice matte black on the armor, all throughout the armor. And then you have different tones of green, right? You have the Lime Green, then you have more of like a darker lime, almost foresty. You have like these dark greens all over the place and then you have lime green in other places. I think it looks really good. I think it pops. I think it looks really dope. So yeah, that is Vibrant Medusa. And again, like this armor set is very interesting. I don't hate it. I don't I don't hate it. Uh we're gonna look at Bloody Tooth, also one of my all time favorite shaders. Looks phenomenal. Again, this time we have more of a glossy black on parts of it. With, with matte black tones also on the armor. And then you have that maroonish red, I would say. You know, popping all over the place. Moving on to Amethyst Veil, a fan favorite. Most people like the shader because it's mostly black, but every now and then you get this nice dark um, blue as well. And then you have some silver. What else do we have? We could go with Carbon Blood, which is what I was rocking on last video's armor set. And Cryptic Insignia? Now we're kind of just winging it. Eh, not bad, not bad. I don't like what I don't like the shiny on the helmet, but there was a, there was another one. Oh yeah. Jacarina's always dope, dude. A really good shader. So yeah, I mean we could we could pop on a few other shaders while we discuss, but uh, the way like I said before, the way you get this armor is in the season pass. So, you know, if you are a free to play player, you can 100% unlock it. You know, it's just on the free track. You slowly unlock each piece. I think. Right, hold on. Let me make sure. <laughs> the free to play players. 
Wait, just kidding. I lied. Free to play does not get the armor. It has to. You have to have the season. I lied. Wait, no. Yes, you do. You do get the armor, dude. I was crazy. I'm crazy, dude. You do get the armor. You get one. You get one full set of armor. There you go. So yeah, the free to play players get the armor on the top. You know, season pass holders get the full set immediately when you start the season, and then you can farm it through battlegrounds. You know, last video is about battlegrounds right here. You get random drops, or you know, you go to the helm, make your umbrals, get your get your armor set. But yeah, anyways, that is it. Short armor review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This has been the Prefectus armor set on the Warlock. It is very, very interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you remember to leave a like and let me know if there's any armor sets that you would like me to review in the future to maybe give me some ideas. There are tons of armor sets in this game. It doesn't have to be brand new. It could be past armor sets if I haven't done them already. Um, I had a couple people yesterday in yesterday's stream told me that they, they really enjoyed the last video of me doing this, so I will definitely do more if you guys continue to enjoy it. But uh, yeah, thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed, click the like button. Also, check me out on Twitch sometime, twitch.tv slash ninji. And hope you have an awesome rest of the day, and I will see you guys later. Peace.